And now to the coronavirus pandemic. The nation overnight seeing a new record of COVID-19 cases in a single day with 45,000 infections. Georgia is one of about a dozen states reporting a record number of cases this week. Just over 1,700 reported yesterday. That's 100 fewer than Saturday when we saw the highest single day increase in new cases. So let's take a closer look at the numbers here. While the governor reports more than 839,000 tests conducted, the Department of Public Health only reports tests once the results are received. And that number is at the top of your screen. It's a little more than 743,000. As for hospitalizations, the number of new patients receiving care is still well below the peak in April. But after hitting a low of 783 patients on June 7th, We've seen that number slowly climb. The state reporting 1,124 people were in the hospital yesterday receiving treatment for COVID-19. The U.S. economy showing some signs of improvement, but it is still tough going for many workers. The new numbers are out today and nearly a million and a half people filed for first time unemployment last week. A much larger number than economists predicted here. It is the 14th consecutive week. New claims have topped 1 million. Around 20 million Americans are out of work, according to the U.S. Labor Department. Atlanta added more than 35,000 jobs in May. That's what Georgia's Labor Department is reporting. And statewide, first-time unemployment claims dropped last week, down by more than 7,700. The total number of out-of-work Georgians also continues to fall, dropping by 18,000 claims for the week of June 13th.